Mr. Robert Miles was born on November 2nd, 1940 in Jackson Heights, New York. Mr. Miles did not have a very good childhood because his parents were alcoholics. He had three brothers and one sister. He worked part-time for a printing company after school. In the Navy in 1957, Mr. Miles chose the Navy so he could get away from home. He liked the Navy because they do not stay in one place for a long period of time. They would be in a place for a couple of days and go out to sea. He left for boot camp the day after he graduated from high school. Boot, in boot camp, Mr. Miles learned about planes, ships, the ocean, and guns. He also learned how to fire and maintain a gun. In boot camp, they also took hikes. Mr. Miles said that boot camp was fun and interesting. He described his boot camp instructor as short and fat. He also said that his boot camp instructor was tough at times. Mr. Miles remembers that when they would take hikes, his boot camp instructor would ride in a jeep. His first ship was a destroyer escort, and they would take out reserves for a two-week cruise. One week, they would go to a place, and the next week, they would come back. This is where Mr. Miles learned about the Navy. After high school, Mr. Miles didn't have any other, any other schooling except for boat school. In boat school, he learned how to coxswain or how to drive a boat. He also went to helmsman school where he learned how to steer a destroyer. Mr. Miles had an easy time adjusting to military life because of not having a good family life. He served in the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. His home port was Brooklyn, New York. Then it was changed to Newport, Rhode Island when his first ship, the USS Knight, was decommissioned. Then he transferred to Naples, Florida because of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Quote during the Cuban Missile Crisis. T very tense. Uh, they had uh, guns trained on us and we had guns trained on them. And one wrong move could have been out. When he was on board a ship, he didn't get much sleep. He didn't get a lot of sleep on board because of the watches and maintenance that had to be done. There were three watches a sailor could have. One watch started at 8 a.m. and went to noon. The next watch started at noon and went till 4 p.m. The final watch for the day started at 4 p.m. and would end at 8 p.m. At night, the watches were from 8 p.m. to midnight next watch was from midnight to four in the morning. The last watch for the night time is 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. If a sailor had the noon to 4 p.m. watch, they also had the midnight to 4 a.m. watch. On the third day out of Newport, on the way to Metz, there was a fire on the USS Hawkins in the storage room. The fire was between two gunpowder containers, also known as magazines. Mr. Miles went to the back of the boat, which they called the fantail, because he was new on the boat and did not have a job to put out the fire. He went to the fantail so he could stay out of the way of the sailors who were putting out the fire. He was on the USS Knight and the USS Hawkins. While sailors were on board, they slept in their free time. On the ships, they had little time to sleep. The bunks on the ships were three high. Mr. Miles slept on the top bunk. Six inches above his head was a steam pipe. He used the steam pipe to get in and out of bed. Since Mr. Miles spent a lot of time with the crew on the ship, he got to know the other sailors very well. Mr. Miles was on the USS Hawkins for a long period of time. And now he does not see those friends from on the ship. Once a year, Mr. Miles goes to a reunion with the USS Hawkins. We're all the same age, so, you know, you get along. He was in an incident and was discharged from the Navy hospital in Florida and took a plane home to New York Mr. Miles got out on December 22nd and was married on January 11th. 
he did not really have time to like came back to civilian life how did people accept you uh they kind of looked down on us we were called a lot of different names uh women killers rapist baby killers We got a lot of names. Just. The service made Mr. Miles grow up. It also taught him to be more responsible. It helped him put his family life behind him. Thank you, Mr. Miles, for your service.